We're jumping whirlwinds and trapping sages. That's right, it's Element, Silver Edition from Rather Dashing Games. This strategic sage snatcher pits two to four players against each other in an element flinging competition to catch an opponent's sage. Setup begins with the game board placed center. Assign a sage to each player and place the sages on their starting positions. In a two player game, the sages begin near the center in these spaces. In a three or four player game, the sages begin in these spaces. Take the element stones and place them in the element bag. Give it a shake or three, and finally, randomly choose a first player to start the game. Gameplay for element occurs in turns, during which the active player will draw stones, move their sage, and place those stones on the board. The goal in a two-player game is to trap the opposing player's sage by blocking all of their movement options, thereby capturing them. In a three or four player game, each player is attempting to capture the sage of the player to their right. Once the sage is captured, the game ends immediately and the player assigned to capture that sage wins. At the beginning of their turn, the active player may draw up to four element stones from the bag. There are four types of stones in the core game, fire, wind, earth, and water. All stones drawn must then be placed on the board, either in a free space or a space that allows the rule of replacement. The rule of replacement allows certain elements to be removed and replaced on the board with other elements. Fire replaces wind, wind replaces earth, earth replaces water, and water replaces fire. Additionally, each of the four types of elements have unique game effects on the board. More on those in a sec. Once per turn, the active player may also move their sage to an unoccupied space. This can occur at any time after they've drawn their stones. Generally, the sage can be moved one adjacent space. Adjacency includes diagonal movement, but if the player chose to draw less than four element stones at the beginning of their turn, the sage's movement is increased by one for each stone not taken. Players now take turns drawing stones and placing them while moving their sages to safety. Let's look at the elemental effects. Water. This element can form rivers and shift around the board. When a water stone is placed orthogonally to another water stone or a straight line of water stones, that line becomes a river. Rivers must move orthogonally a number of spaces equal to the number of water stones in its line. This occurs each time a water stone is added to a line. The rivers may turn at right angles, snaking their way around the terrain. But if the river ever cannot move its full number of spaces, this move is illegal and cannot be made. All stones, sages, and the edge of the board block a moving river. Fire! This element spreads the more it's fed in the game. When placing a firestone next to one or more other firestones, the active player immediately draws a free firestone from the bag and places it on the opposite side of the firestone that was already on the board, creating a fire line. This rule does not apply for diagonal adjacency. Fire lines can only be orthogonal. If the space on the opposite side is occupied, the free fire stone cannot be played, unless the occupying stone is a wind stone because that would obey the rule of replacement. Earth, these stones are placed normally. However, you can place a second earth stone atop another. That stack becomes a mountain and is immune to the rule of replacement for the remainder of the game. Additionally, any earth stones connected orthogonally or diagonally become a range and are also immune to the rule for the rest of the game. Any earth stones placed later that also connect to that range become a part of it. Additionally, a range can block a sage's diagonal movement between the two earth stones. Wind! This element doesn't actually trap sages. It allows them to jump, provided the space opposite the wind stone is unoccupied. Jumping wind stones is a free action and doesn't count against the moves in a sage's one per turn movement. 
Sages may jump in any direction, including diagonally, but must do so in a straight line per jump, and cannot jump over the same windstone twice in a turn. Additionally, windstones may be stacked to create a whirlwind. These towers allow sages to instead jump a number of spaces equal to the number of windstones in the stack, as well as windstones within a connected line. That's the base game of Element. The Silver expansion includes three elements represented by the silver tokens. Only one of these three can be in the game at a time along with the four core elements. Lightning. These volatile elements may be placed on any space of the board except for a location occupied by a sage. The lightning replaces any element stone, including whirlwinds and mountains. When mountains are removed in this way, the range effects for connected earth stones no longer apply, including their immunity to the rule of replacement. Wind stones adjacent to a lightning stone become a storm and cannot be jumped by sages. Additionally, lightning stones may only be replaced with another lightning stone. When placing a lightning stone, the active player may remove one other lightning stone from anywhere on the board. Wood. These elements may only be placed on an empty space. They cannot replace. They have two effects, blaze and new growth. When a firestone is placed or spreads, it can be stacked on top of wood, creating a blaze. Blazes increase the number of firestones placed whenever there is a spread from fire placement. Blazes in a fire line add one additional firestone during a spread, but multiple blazes do not add any more than that. Blazes may be replaced by a single water stone or a river moving into their space. Wood may also absorb water stones when a river moves into its space. This is known as new growth. When this occurs, the water stones are removed and the active player may draw a wood stone and place it anywhere on the board. Metal! This awesome element interacts with other stones of its kind. When placing a metal stone, the active player chooses to either attract or repel other metal stones in each of the eight directions. Once chosen, the metal stones with an unobstructed path to the placed metal stone either move closer or further away. Metal stones may be placed on empty spaces or they may be smelted. This occurs when a fire stone is placed on top of an earth stone. Both stones are removed and a metal stone replaces them. This can happen to earth stones in a range, but not on top of a mountain. Additionally, metal stones can be removed through corrosion. When a wind stone is placed on a water stone or vice versa, corrosion occurs. Remove both those stones and one metal stone from anywhere on the board. Gameplay continues with players raising mountains, setting blazes, and shifting rivers. Once a player's targeted sage has been captured, the game immediately ends, and that player wins. And that's Element Silver. I'm Becca Scott, and I'm haunted by a ghost named Kaylee. If you're an exorcist or a cleric, please leave your contact information in the comments below. You can watch me and my friends play this game and other amazing games on Game the Game, right here on Geek and Sundry. We'll see you there.